Hi, in this Kathari video, we learn how to identify prime and composite numbers using patterns made from just seeds. Let us take numbers from 1 to 6 and try to arrange them in groups. For this, we'll follow two rules. First one, each group should have equal number of seeds and the second rule, each group should have more than one seed. For one, we can arrange it in only one way. For two, we can divide it into two groups, one and two, but the groups have only one seed each. So this is not allowed. Now let's take three seeds. If we divide it into groups, we'll have two groups, two seeds in one group and single seed in another group. Now the groups will not have equal number of seeds. So this is also not allowed. Now next, let's take four. Four seeds can be arranged in two seeds in one group and two seeds in another group. Can we arrange in any other way? No. Let's take five. Now five cannot be arranged in a way in which two groups have equal number of seeds. Next, we'll take six. Now dividing six, we'll get three in one group, three in another group. So we have two groups of three. Next, we can further divide it with two in each group. So we'll have three groups of two. Now, what pattern do we see in this table? Pause the video and note down your observations. All the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six can be put in one group one two three and five one two three and five can be put only in one group but four and six can be put in more than one group now we have two types of numbers one two three and five can be put only in one group four and 6 can be put in more than 1 groups. 1 is a special case, we will talk about it in the next video. So in these two types of numbers, this type 2, 3, 5 are called prime numbers and 4 and 6 are called composite. We hope you understood how to find prime and composite numbers just by arranging seats. Now, in the same way, can you find among 7 and 8 which is prime and which is composite? Thank you for watching. Do try this on your own.